Another chapter in the struggle in the Ukraine was opened last week. Media speak about an invasion. NATO is still examining the situation. Does Russia have a right for its military presence in Ukraine without this being called a war? We spoke with church historian Father Athanasius McVeigh, himself a Catholic of Eastern Rite and Ukrainian roots. He recently published a book on the Ukrainian Greek Catholic presence in Canada. It's led by the Bishop Nikita Budka, who founded the largest Ukrainian diocese in the world outside of the Ukraine. Since independence, since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Ukraine, like all the other nations that had been dominated for certain periods of time by the Russian Empire, uh, each nation and each people wants to determine their own, um, their own future. And uh, Ukraine currently is at war with um, Russia. Russia uh, has invaded Ukraine and uh, really seeks to undermine or, or uh, dominate Ukrainian affairs for its own sake. Russia's President Vladimir Putin met here with Pope Francis in the Vatican last year. He has supported the Russian Orthodox Church while expelling Catholics and other Christian denominations from Russian-controlled lands. Father Athanasius says that Putin's support for even some Christians should be taken with a grain of salt. Nowadays has become, in, in a sense, not in a sense, is very anti-Christian on many levels. And many people who are, are dissatisfied with, with some of the policies of the West, especially the moral issues, life issues, uh, issues of marriage and issues of, um, uh, you know, of, of anti-Christian uh, Christ, uh, Christian movement, uh, hear Putin's rhetoric, uh, which is essentially just anti-Western rhetoric. Putin takes whatever happens in the West and takes the opposite position in order to gain power for himself. Uh, and yet, you know, for example, in the area of life, Russia has an incredibly high uh, abortion rate. And you know, some people say it's diminishing. But you have to look at the whole picture. On one hand, Russia is supporting pro-life, and on the other hand, he is sending uh, guerrillas and troops into another nation and, and murdering people by the hundreds and the thousands. That's not a very pro-life agenda. In the meantime, Greek Catholics of the Ukraine are finding themselves in a difficult situation that Father Athanasius says is eerily similar to that of the persecution that started in the 1920s.